Hi guys, Virtus Education here with the 13th video of the Unreal Development Kids Beginner Series. And in this video, I'm going to be going over KA Actors General Physics Objects. So, in the previous video, I actually went over a kind of dynamic object in the form of fractured static meshes, in the sense that when you shoot them, uh, they kind of uh, adjust to uh, said impulse. Uh, impulse. However, in this video, I'm going to be doing something fairly different in the form of rigid bodies or uh, KA actors. These uh, actors actually um, move based on impulse. So, for example, if I shoot them, they will go across the room uh, like I'll show you. So, firstly, I'm going to go up to this crate, which is just a st standard static mesh. I shoot it, and you can see that nothing happens whatsoever. However, if I go to my... Uh, my nice lovely barrels over here which I preset up to be KA actors when I shoot them they'll fly around and uh, you know they'll kind of be slightly more realistic in the sense that uh, they will move based on impulse so you know how do we get one so uh first of all we want to open up the content browser and uh import and uh just as last time we need to make uh make sure we have a static mesh so i've got the static mesh here the barrel that i was using if i drag it into the scene go ahead and press play you're gonna see it's just a standard static mesh and uh there isn't necessarily a type of object in the content browser dedicated to just being physics objects. So we've actually got to do something to it. So with your uh, static mesh selected, right click in your scene and press uh, add actor UT uh, uh, rigid body or just UT rigid body. So let's go ahead and press rigid body, press play, shoot it and uh, it should begin to react to our impulse however obviously uh, it's shooting uh, when you shoot it it goes flying and stuff and it isn't necessarily uh, realistic so we may have to adjust some of the properties uh, to compensate for the mass and so on so uh, you know obviously if you're going to shoot a big barrel like that with a bullet it's not gonna go so far it's only gonna move ever so slightly so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, change the mass the mass being uh, the weight of it and uh, you know how dense and just generally big it is so to do that just open up the static mesh editor for that object scroll down until you can find something called mass set scale usually by default this should be set to one and uh, the lower you go the lower uh, the actual mass of the object the the uh, the the less uh, the li less it's gonna weigh so th the lesser it weighs the faster it's going to move so I believe I just set it to 1.5, uh, sorry, yeah, I set it to 1, so it's going to be relatively heavy, and it's not going to move as fast as uh, the previous times to shoot that, and you can clearly see it's getting slower and slower. So now I'm going to turn it up to 5, and you're going to see it's only going to move ever so slightly, which should be uh, slightly more realistic based on the uh, scenario. So there we go, this is much more like a barrel pretty cool pretty realistic but that's not it there's lots of other properties which uh we need to go over and all of these are actually inside of the ka actor properties so not ka actors k actor properties so to do that just click your mesh and uh, press f4 keep in mind this is not inside of the static mesh editor itself and by default you're going to have tons and tons of little tabs for um uh, for your K actor. Also, one other thing I want to note is that whenever you're working with physics objects like these, you need to make sure you have collision. So, just as I showed you in the previous video, make sure you've got collision. If you don't, you can just use uh, six, you can just use DOP collision or auto convex collision, whatever floats your boat. You don't necessarily need anything too complex for um, this kind of collision. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Anyway, so it's got collision. And let's go over to our KA actor properties and see what we can find. So the first property we have here is damage applies impulse. You guys know what impulse is. It's going to essentially move based on that damage. If I turn this off as, uh, as so, so if I press play, now if I shoot this barrel, I'm pretty adamant that it's not going to move and it's essentially going to be just like a standard static mesh. So you might want to make sure that that is on. Also, if I go ahead and put this in the air, it won't fall down because it's not um, a physics object as of yet. It needs to be woken up. So it doesn't do anything until I shoot it. However, if you want it to be a... Uh, a physics actor from the very start and be awake just tick that on and you're going to notice that it will fall straight down and uh, you know kind of uh, 
uh, adjust to uh, impulse. Obviously you might want to turn some of these uh, off at the start for uh, performance issues because uh, the CPU's got to, uh, the CPU and the GPU's got to render all of the calculations and movement for these objects. So if the player isn't necessarily interacting with certain objects, they don't need to be turned on for the sake of efficiency and performance. Obviously, you can turn these on using Kismet or Unreal Script and so on. But anyway, you know what that does. Just make sure that's checked by default. By by uh, by default, it's not, which is a little weird. Also, you have um, max physics velocity and limit ma uh, max physics velocity. So, the velocity of an object is essentially the speed at which it's going to move. So, let's say we've got something really light, but we don't necessarily want it to be flying across the... Uh, across the environment incredibly fast, like the speed of light, we can limit the speed it actually goes at just for the sake of realism. So I can change this uh, up if I want it to go uh, the max velocity to be higher, or I can lower it to be uh, slower. So I'm going to limit this to uh, 1, and uh, let's see what it does. And I believe it should be going relatively slow as it falls down, as you can see there, and uh, kind of works. However, obviously, you don't necessarily want it to be going that slow. So I'm just going to put it down to something like 5, which is pretty reasonable. And uh, we won't be having that going across the scene. You know what? 5's not enough. I'm just going to set this to 50. And you should see it should drop at about normal rate because it's going to be dropping... Uh, fairly slower than uh, the normal speed. Anyway, that is uh, the velocity setting. So, I'm just going to open up the properties again as uh, I managed to get rid of those. So that should be everything you need to worry about in these properties here. We also have something called Stay Upright uh, Spring. So essentially, uh, you can actually tell your mesh to stay upright whenever you're shooting at it and uh, so on. So, at the moment you can see I can knock it over and stuff. Uh, so if I shoot it, I can knock it over on its side. However, UDK comes with a nice lovely property that allows us to tell it to stay upright. However, keep in mind this setting is relatively glitchy, which you'll see now. Um, okay, I'm going to have to turn down the mass a little bit for this so I can actually knock it over with ease. Uh, one moment. So I'm going to change the mass of this down to 1, which is the default mass, and I'm going to continue shooting at it. So if I continue shooting at it now, you're going to see that it will not knock over, and it keeps going up. There's some little glitchy effects on here, that's just because the system inside of UDK isn't too great. It might just be the mesh, I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, you can see that it essentially keeps this mesh upright so it doesn't fall over. You might want to do that for some reason, but... Uh, you know, there's not many meshes that you do want to keep up right all the time. Anyway, so let's go into some of the other properties. So over here in the, under static, uh, under dynamic SM actor, you probably won't want to play around with any of these settings other than things like uh, dynamic lighting and so on. However, there is one last tab that we need to go into, which is collision component. Um, obviously, I've already explained uh, com explained what collision is. Collision is essentially uh, the objects colliding whether or not we actually want it to collide. You can tell it to uh, collide with certain objects. For example, can block the camera if you don't want the camera going straight through it. You can make it collide with actors, block actors, and you could also set something like uh, similar to a class or a family here. So uh, you can actually tell it to be uh, like uh, one of these. So, for example, if I wanted this to be cloth, I would set this to cloth, or I can set it to gameplay physics, water, vehicle, pawn, and so on and so forth. You will most likely have to experiment with some of these yourself and just generally play around with them. But for now, I'm just going to keep it on the default, which is gameplay physics. You may have a, a bunch of other properties, such as block rigid body, uh, block all. Uh, you can uh, actually change exactly what it will block over here, so for example, block all block weapons, no collision, um, block all and so on. If I was to do block weapons, it would only block weapon bullets. If I was to do no collision, you know, bullets would go through it, players would go through it, uh, which I'll show you now. Okay, maybe not. Uh, because it's changed, because uh, I don't know. So let's just set this to no collision again, and uh, press play. And I should be able to walk straight through it. 
However, it has in fact disappeared and I believe it actually fell through the ground or something there because it doesn't actually have any collision. Just look at that again. Yeah, it did. So, you know, it's got no collision. It's just going to fall fall through everything, just going straight down, seeing as it is a physics actor. So you may want to make sure you don't turn on no collision, especially if you don't want it falling straight through the ground. Just make sure it's like... uh custom default, uh, touch all, block all, whatever you want to work with based on obviously uh, your scenario. So hopefully that should be everything that you need to know for KA actors. Obviously I haven't necessarily gone over all of the different properties as there is a ton, but providing you do want me to go over anything uh, else in addition to what I've gone over, feel free to ask in the comment section below and uh, I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and don't forget to check out our social media pages and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.